At approximately 3.15 p.m. on October 13, 2015, a call came into the Nye County Dispatch Center for an unresponsive male experiencing a medical emergency at the Love Ranch. She's got blood coming out of his nose, white coming out of his mouth. The patient identified as Lamar Odom. Odom is on a ventilator in a coma. Multiple drugs were found in his system, and there are reports he used synthetic Viagra. My doctors told all of my loved ones to say your friend goodbye. Demonstrated evidence of multi-organ system failure, multiple strokes, significant cardiac damage, kidney damage, liver failure. Lamar, I mean, he lost his mom at 12 years of age to colon cancer. I mean, how can a kid go through that? And then his father had a substance use problem on top of it. My grandmother and my son dying on the same day, four or five years apart in the prime of my career. And when that happened to me, I felt like I wanted to quit. He was a wounded individual, but in the right time, in the right place, with the right help, you know, he could blossom. When Greg called me to come to Florida to do the ketamine, I thought he was nuts. I'm all about getting better, especially at this stage in my life. But doing hallucinogenics is something I've always been trying to stay away from. It's time for liftoff. You ready? Yes, sir. Lamar? Whoa. You're on a journey. Yeah. Try, try to just be with it. And I told him I'd been preparing him for something big, the most powerful plant psychedelic known to man. If you might set up a purpose, you might start preparing yourself. They're getting in touch with aspects of themselves that have been elusive, very important aspects of themselves that probably account for some of why they're suffering. He likely has suffered from chronic PTSD that has re-exacerbated over time as more traumas have occurred. I just want to be better. Get rid of uh, addiction, anxiety. If I can help all that out with just, you know, a treatment like this, then why not? I'm not giving it a shot.